Hi, welcome to Papa P. Today I've got my brother Dominic here. He's going to make his famous meatball recipe. <laughs> he makes meatballs better than me. That's why I brought him here today. <laughs> Dominic is a retired chef. Uh, actually, he used to own and uh, be a chef at Daddy Jack's restaurant in Fort Worth. He was open for 22 years. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and get these meatballs going, and uh, I think you're going to really enjoy them. Hey, everybody, you ready to uh, taste some really good meatballs? Hell yeah. We're going to get started here right now. All right. Hey, Dom, what kind of ingredients do we have working today? All right, let's see what we have here. We have uh, ground uh, pork, ground beef, and ground veal. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what is that, about a pound of each? Yeah, it's about a little, yeah, it's a little over three pounds altogether, it looks like. Cool. And we have uh, fresh parsley, fresh garlic. Fresh grated Pecorino Romano, uh, half a dozen eggs, uh, Progresso Italian seasoned breadcrumb, salt, and pepper. Awesome, awesome. I'll and go ahead and have the list of ingredients on the bottom of the uh, video. Uh, so this way you'll have that information as well. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to put all of our meats in this pot to mix it in with all the ingredients. Because we don't have a big bowl, we, it's too much meat. But uh, we'll put it all in. Okay, now we'll put uh, we'll put our parsley in there, the garlic. It's a whole head, one whole head of garlic chopped up, and this is about a cup and a half of uh, grated cheese for our meatballs. Beautiful. Wow. We're gonna make uh, some beautiful meatball heroes today. Oh yeah. All right, let's I'm see. Looking forward to that. Uh, this is uh, 15 ounces. I'm going to probably put most of it in there. Uh, let's say we'll put all of it okay. in there. All right, let's see. That's got... one thing with chefs. We don't ever measure. That's how you learn how to cook. <laughs> let's see. We got our eggs in there. Okay, let's see. Uh, like I said, well, what Paul said, we don't measure, so I'm going to do it like this. We're going to put like uh, three teaspoons of salt in there. That's about right. Maybe a little more. All right. Black pepper. I love black pepper, so I always put extra black pepper in everything that I, that I make. What is that, about a teaspoon? Eh, maybe a little more. Okay, a teaspoon and a half. You know what, I'm gonna put a little <laughs> more salt in there because that's a lot of that's a lot of meat in there. Yeah. Uh, a little more salt, and that's it. Okay. And now I'm gonna put about a, maybe two cups of water in there, and then Paul is gonna mix them up. <laughs> he don't wanna get his hands dirty. <laughs> Just come over here. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is the fun part, folks. <laughs> God, how many meatballs would you say, Dominic, we rolled in our lifetime? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Probably a million. <laughs> That's no lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my father was a slave driver. <laughs> he had us working day and night, seven days a week. Uh, anyway, yeah. You don't want to overmix them. You don't want to ruin the texture of the meat. So you just want to go ahead and, you know, uh, gradually fold all those ingredients in. Some people use mixers, but you know what? There's nothing like mixing meatballs by hand. Okay, and there you have it. All mixed, ready to go. Now we're going to go Beautiful. ahead and roll Oh, yes. that looks real pretty. Okay, we're going to probably roll them uh, about three ounces a piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my hands a little bit so the meat doesn't stick to my hands. Uh, and then you're just going to roll them just like that. Perfect. Very simple. 
Now you can even you can either bake these in the oven with a little bit of water on the bottom of the tray, about a half inch of water, so it doesn't burn, or you can fry them in a, in a pan. Or what I like to do is I like to just throw my meatballs in raw in the sauce in the gravy, what Ooh, we call yeah, that's good. Uh, what the Italians call uh, tomato sauce gravy, and it, they're really good like that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, these are going to be some dynamite sandwiches we're making today. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> You're always ready. Okay, meatballs are ready to fry up. Let's get that frying pan going. Well, one thing before I forget, I have to say that this recipe for the meatballs are from uh, two generations, well, third generation, my grandmother, my mom, and now Paul and I. So I have to give credit to my grandmother and my mom. It's been around a while, very good. <laughs> I wanted to fry uh, the meatballs now uh, in some olive oil. And you got to be careful at first, so you got to move them around so they don't stick to the bottom. How long on each side? About? Uh, maybe, uh, it, it, altogether, it's probably like maybe five minutes. On each side? Okay. Five, six minutes it takes to cook. Okay. Awesome. All right. That's okay. Meatballs okay. are ready to be flipped. Got to get them nice and brown on one side, and then you could turn them over. Get that really nice brown color to it. Yeah, Oof. it's looking real good. Oh man, looking good. There's nothing. Sounds better than meatballs frying in a pan. That's absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> yeah, coming along. Yeah, they're just about ready. About another minute or so. You gotta get it that beautiful, nice brown color. Okay, meatballs are done. Okay, when they're looking like that on the outside, they're pretty much done. So we're going to pull the meatballs out. Nice dark brown. Put them on a, uh, a better paper towel, so I'll soak up a little of excess oil. Beautiful. I love it. And then we're going to get ready to make our sandwiches. Hey, meatballs are ready. Okay, we have our fried meatballs here and also baked uh, meatballs to mix together. Uh, now we're going to make uh, some really good meatball Parmesan heroes. Let's do it. We got uh, some uh, nice uh, French baguettes here. We're going to make our meatball uh, Parmesan heroes now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this great Italian gravy, put it on a bit a little on one side, and I'm going to layer... The meatballs in there. Beautiful. Oh, don't trap those balls. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see. Okay, then we're gonna put a little uh, more sauce on them. Oh, beautiful. And then we're gonna put some uh, nice shredded mozzarella. mozzarella. Whole milk mozzarella. And we're gonna set them right here. Perfect. We got some beautiful heroes right now, right here. We're gonna be ready to eat in about five minutes. All right. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to say also too, is I wanted to give a shout out to my friend, uh, Daddy Jack Chaplin, the founder and head chef of uh, Daddy Jack's, one of the best chefs I've ever known. Yeah. Hey, Jack, wish Very you were good. here with us eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting ready to throw them in the oven. Should be ready in about five minutes. We'll see you back in a bit. All Parmesans are ready. Thanks, Uncle Dominic. <laughs> we're going to make a lot My more pleasure. videos together.
Let's grab one of these. Anyway, we're ready, ready to eat. Let's salute. Salute. Good eating. Oh my god. Best meatballs bar none. Hey, thanks for watching Papa P. And Daddy Thank P. You. And uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. We're going to have a lot more videos coming out. Have a good night. Bye-bye.